Hi guys, as you can see, I'm currently walking up the famous steps of a miner's path, which leads to what used to be the largest quarry in the world, the largest slate mine in the world, sorry, that's Oakley's. Uh, slate was first quarried here in 1818 where Samuel Holland he took a lease off the Oakley family who owned the land and he started quarrying and mining in what later was known as the top quarry and then also the middle quarry and he stayed for 20 years and he finally sold the lease to the Welsh Slate Company and then they leased it then off the Oakley's family and carried on mining the slates until finally and then sorry there was three quarries here the top quarry the middle quarry and the bottom quarry and they all had different names over the years and got taken over by different companies and then eventually Oakley's themselves took over all three quarries and started oh sorry they created what was at the time the world's largest slate mine and uh, it was impressive he had 30 floors stretching all the way from the top to the bottom after the decline of the slate industry one of my friends fathers Will Roberts he took over Oakley's and he turned it into a well, like a slate museum, my museum and also like a show mine but also quarried and also I had tourists up here as well and they call it was named Glover Gano after what was the middle quarry and it stayed like that until that shut late 90s and it was taken over by Welsh Slate who are still here today but not much slate is getting produced they're more crushing the tips oh. there's a brief history a very brief one because I've got a book on the history of this mine and it's a fascinating read oh, it's amazing made it up remains of a winding gear for the incline down to the Festinio Railway right, before we go underground I'll just take a quick look at the miners cottages and see what they used to look like As you can see, very low doors. Hello. Still got the beautiful fireplace. Wow, I wouldn't mind a fireplace like this in my own house. Lovely slate floor. small room and we probably have a couple of families living in here there we go there's another little bedroom here very compact and very steep stairs 
Right, look, cute little house. I'm at the site of one of the middle quarry mills. I just, these walls are so impressive. This is an incline. So impressive the size of these walls. One of the inclines are and the old mill that was turned into a museum and cafe when it was called Vagano, a tourist mine. And I'm finding an added entrance. Cutting for the tramway. Sale roofing slates. I'll try and find an old photo of the other entrance which has been blown to stop people going in and this is I think the ad it was created like 1840 and I'll try and put a survey of the ad it as well so it's got the date on it as well so I'm gonna head in Nice little squeeze to get in. So I'll stop recording until I get in. Come on, squeeze. I've made it in. Yeah, and this was the 1840 Addit. And then it was later then, once it turned into a tourist mine, this was a way into the show mine, which I'll go through later. Oops. Oh, we locked. Oh, I'll have to squeeze it aside. Oh. This is where they used to get helmets. Hole in my wellies. Oh. 
This is where they blocked one of the entrances to the mine itself, the old workings, because he didn't want tourists sneaking into the mine. Right into the top, and I walk another way into the right. I left the tunnel here. That was one of the ways into the show mine. Which I blocked it off. I don't know if you can see daylight in the far end. Yeah, they blocked it off to try and stop people actually going into the old workings but of course I know the sneaky ways oh. and this goes into the old workings too trouble is you've got to uh, Draw through this. I don't fancy crawling through that today. In the far end, that gets to an incline. Oh, this is best done on a very dry day. There is a bit less water. Yeah, and that leads to another incline going down. Right, time for another squeeze then. I've made it to the other side of a flooded tunnel. I was right in the bottom earlier on. I made it through the squeeze. Oh. Yeah, the actual mine, they've blown it to stop people getting in and there's just a squeeze through. Before I do the squeeze through, there's a little balcony, little balcony exit you can get to. to give away the other location by showing a, a view like so I'm off to do the squeeze I'll see you inside I've made it through the squeeze into the Oakley show mine and this is the last leader of the Shonky Tours that's what happened to him got covered in the collapse and squashed so, we'll have a quick look at the show mine and a quick look at the mine proper. Yeah, 
when I try to shut this up by blasting it, I think I've opened a few open chambers by mistake. Oh, water dripping on my phone. Right, this crane is a fake. We'll see an original no one in a minute. This was just there for the show, mine. Fake. These used to be wearing old miners' clothes until people have just swapped modern clothes on them. The chain's going up. These bolts have just fallen out the ceiling. Off I climb a bit. Oh, like us. to be the old office. Just a big drop. Uh, all these videos are making me turn to drink. Sean Keto's office. scare your first time these dummies standing there. Right. This is impressive. Chamber for 40 is visible, 240 foot vertically below your own. 31 floors. I was wrong with my 30 floors, it's 31 floors. So, we here, where yellow, and my boot is there. Wow, all those floors down to floor.
Right, for the people who always want to know how the slate is extracted, have a quick look down here. Right, this is a partly worked chamber where he start up his corner here doing a roofing shaft and then he'll cut away the top so we can get at the face and he'll, now this will explain better Pause a video if you need to read it. And this just shows how the slate is extracted. Ooh, headless. The cobbler knife. Now here. Quick look. Hello. Yeah, this guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah. A quick look at this chamber. This massive chamber goes down to floor C and then down to DE and it connects with the lower levels and you can get through then to the mine next door. I'm not going to say its name but I'm sure you can guess. It's very steep coming up and down this jelly leg. crane wasn't very authentic but this is an original crane I know it was probably left here for the show mine, but everything is original. All the chains with the rock I'm going to use into climb the face. On this level now, we'll have a look at a place that's not actually accessible, that wasn't accessible to the public.
Right, but the, that flat cap, it was in another part of the mine, miner's flat cap and the jacket, miner's jacket, and it's just grown loads of fungus and crystals on it since it's come in here. All these red crystals. Right, this part wasn't accessed to the public. Holding my wellies. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of water in today, it's not usually this flooded. Be a man way going up. Still got the chains on it to keep it in place. Size of that. Boy. Oh, there's a few on here. Pull in the ceiling. Or they'd lap the chains over. Everything's just been left in situ. All the pulleys, the hooks, lock and tackles. Uh, that's collapsed. Very chunky in this part. It's collapse. Yeah, what used to be a timber tunnel, so it must have been really chunky. Not very good rock. So they had the timbers to support it. Yeah, it's just a collapsed chamber, it does go, but it's just one big collapsed chamber. Oh. Because of all the untopping outside, 
Yeah, a lot of it's just collapsed and there's no way through. The only way through is down. So only the point so I just lift onto the next track. I just pull these over the last track. Yeah, I'm not going to go down to the lower levels, floor D, E and below because it was past 3 o'clock when I got up here and I've been working all morning so I'm going to leave the bottom levels for another day just let you have a quick look at the show mine and the higher levels The roof and shaft continues in the top. It's like a little manway. And you can go up along a little ledge in the top for catwalk. And another adder. I don't know what this adder is, whether it's a, a trial or to a different vein. has come off. So bear with me for two seconds. I think that's an explosive warning. Gunpowder bugle, look. Uh, so it shows the age of this tunnel. A miner's jacket. And a original miner's jacket as well. They're like a donkey jacket material. So this must have been a trial. I'm looking for another vein. What I found here is an old miner's lantern. Can you see inside where you hold a candle? Where oh yeah, it holds a candle. Might not be in very good condition, but I'm sure it's pretty old. Oh, old cigarette packets. See if we can get them out.
that's over there. You need a raft. So all the chambers have been blown open. You know, most of it is underground. And just a little pit. A oh, big pit, actually. The local mine, mine post office and general stores. Right. Right, I hope you enjoyed that video of the Oakley Show Mine or Claude Vagan or Tourist Mine. I'll probably do a part two some other time where I go down to the lower levels and a mine proper, the actual Oakley Mine. And there's loads of artifacts down there. One of the best mines for artifacts. Felt hats, hobnail boots, old biscuit tins, 1920 papers, all sorts. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you enjoy the mine videos. And I'll see you on the next Chunky Tour. Right, thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for the support. Right, I'll see you on the next Chunky Tour. Bye.